everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reapy Ron, and today we're going to be playing some Killing Floor 2. The new update just barely came out, so luckily I'm getting on this early, and we're going to do some offline stuff. We're going to check out the new map, which is Netherhold. We're going to see how this one looks. Um, I think I'm going to play on Suicidal for right now. I'm going to play Survivalist, and we're going to try out some of the new weapons. I want to see how they work. And we'll be st discussing some of them, at least the first impressions of them. I don't actually have any stats of the weapons right now. Let's try this map out. Oh, we get a Dawes? It's like a... Oh, that looks like the uh, the Batcat. Okay, that's cool. That's Already, nice. I kind of like the look of it. Looks like we're in some sort of like underground Eyes fortress open. or something. Awesome. Let's get rid of this. I don't know what the collectibles are after this one. We're gonna look around for them. We've got all the Zed's Halloween skins on, which is nice to see. Can I go this way? Oh, okay. So we got a spider's den over here. That looks pretty awesome. Oh, we can't go over here. This is a dead end. Okay. Stay back, stay back, stay back. <laughs> I'm just here to explore. I'm on vacation right now. Okay. Um, huh. So it's got an indoor section too, and an outdoor section. Got a medic pistol here. Is that something else back there that we just seen? It looks like a bullseye of some sort. Oh wait, no, it's a mouth. So first impressions of the maps, it looks interesting, but I see some issues already. There's a lot of very narrow corridors. There's a lot of very small rooms. Oh, we got like a wine cellar that's underneath a graveyard. Outside also seems rather small and restrictive. Yeah, a lot of these corridors a little bit weird to go around. And, whoa, what is this? You find the hentai cave or something? There's just tentacles and eyeballs everywhere. Very weird. Oh, we got giant hands coming out here. I think it's that skull that's, no, nah, that's not a collectible. Oh, we got a switch. What does this do? Does that do anything? Lovely. Oh, it failed. Maybe that's a secret. Maybe we can find Walking so many switches. Money incoming. Oh, and we got another hand room. More skulls that I want to shoot, but they're not the collectible. Alright, I gotta figure out what the collectible is. Whoa, wait, what the heck? Why was there a center fire laying on the ground? Time to play. That shouldn't be something I can find that easily. Oh, is it demon skulls? Okay, it's demon skulls again on this map. All right, let's try this. Our first one we're gonna try is the piranha pistol. We're gonna get two of these. These appear to be a tier two weapon and they are a cross perk weapon between gunslinger and berserker. Oh, you can actually block with them. That's interesting. Okay, that's different then. I figured you would still like ADS with them. But if you can block with them... I wonder if the melee attacks do decent damage. I'm also gonna... Huh. Okay, I'm, I was gonna check here to see if there was like another... Tier 2 weapon that would spawn in. Huh. This room might actually not be too bad to sit into. Okay. Huh. Oh wait, you can pick up your ammo too? This is like the eviscerator, but... Okay. And it seems to do decent damage. Even with the melee. Okay. <laughs> and they bounce. <laughs> Alright, well I'm liking everything about this weapon so far. They're like mini eviscerators. The eviscerator is already pretty good. These things weigh a lot less. You get more shots with them. You can actually melee faster with it too. They actually seem a little bit easier to ADS with. Look at the blades. You just put those in between. You actually have better sights with this than with other dual wielding guns. All right, let's toss some upgrades into them. See how strong they get when they're fully upgraded. There still is another gunslinger weapon too, which is the HRG Disruptor which looks to be a tier four weapon. Huh, I'll have to try that as well. 
We'll probably pair it with this. There is a new medic weapon, or medic slash uh, sharpshooter weapon, which is the Corruptor Carbine, and this one is also a tier 4 weapon. So we're gonna try that, and then there's also the Tommy Boom, which I think is a demo weapon, but I haven't checked. You can actually shoot these pretty quick, too. Look at this. That's a lot of blades. If you're doing that against crowds, that's pretty good. And you can go grab your ammo afterwards. Really nice. Plus the melee cancel seems pretty good on him too. Hmm, this would be great for people who don't have the best aim either. Because they ricochet, so you don't need to have super great aim with them either. I did hear a flesh pound. So we'll at least get to see how good they work on that. This isn't fully upgraded. I think they'll do just fine though. Uh, is that a quarter pound? I mean, that alone is pretty awesome that you can do that with a gunslinger weapon. I think now almost every class has a weapon that can block and parry. The only one I can think of that doesn't is like Firebug? I guess uh, Commando doesn't either. That is really nice. <laughs> oh, wait, this room can spawn tier 2 weapons. Because that's a bulb up. Really Alright, it works okay against the Flesh Pound. Like, not, not as good as like a 500 Magnum or the Deagles would, but with the ability to parry, still pretty nice. Oh yeah, and the Tommy Boom is here. The Tommy Boom's only a tier 2 weapon. Really? Okay. Let's try this out then. I mean, I've upgraded the Piranha Pistols all the way. So far, I'm really liking them, although I don't think this map is going to be great for boss wave, though, either. <laughs> this whole map is pretty small and enclosed, so I'm thinking classes that do well on these sort of maps will have an advantage. People like Firebug, uh, Medic, Berserker, all of them. Other classes like Sharpshooter are going to kind of struggle here, uh, so I probably want to switch like a different map for that. Also, some of the map layout is a little bit confusing once you get inside of it. But so long as you kind of just do a loop around it, it seems to be okay for the most part. Oh, hey. There's another thing over there. Wait a minute. Is this really just... This is just a Tommy gun that seems to have a slightly slower rate of fire. Look, this is just like the spray and pray from uh, Fallout 4. <laughs> Okay, this gun, I can already say, is going to be very strong on demo. Even after just barely trying it. At tier 2, it weighs 7, so keep that in mind. It's it's going to be kind of awkward to use with other weapons. Because that means you can't take it with the RPG. So it, it might not be, like, top tier then. I guess it depends how well it upgrades, though. I'm going to have to try it on demo just upgrading it all the way, see what happens. Alright, well, we get to test out these against the Scrape. Let's see how well this works. <laughs> that was four. I'm not playing Gunslinger. That would have probably been less on Gunslinger. I don't think I actually get any increased movement speed with the Piranha Pistols. So they don't count like the, um... The Frostfang does. Which is a little bit disappointing, but I guess that might make them a little bit more fair. They are still pretty crazy at hurting him, though. Well, Tommy Boom is doing quite well at just getting rid of the trash. So maybe this combined with like a regular grenade launcher or something? Or even just a grenade pistol would probably be pretty good on demo. Hang on, Patriarch, I just gotta find one more skull and then I'll have that achievement marked off the list. <laughs> it's gotta be around here somewhere. Actually, yeah, it is. Awesome. Alright, forgotten knowledge. Achievement unlocked. Nice. You're like, that is so nice to have. Alright, well, the Patriarch's gonna die to healing grenades, I think. Yeah, die, Patriarch, die. Alright, also, I got an achievement inside the Oblivion Maze. Hmm. Okay. Well, already, an interesting map, but I feel like it's not going to be one of the easiest maps to play. I kind of like the look of it, though. 
So aesthetically, I like it. Play Playing it, it's okay. I don't think it's going to be one of my favorites. Uh, really like the Piranha Pistols already. They are very good. Tommy Boom has also impressed me so far, and that's unupgraded. All right, this time I'm going to try I just going with the different. Tommy Boom. See what happens when it gets fully upgraded. See what kind of goodies I get from that. If it does, you know, more damage. Maybe I'll switch over to Demo for this, since it is their gun. Unfortunately, I'm not level 25 Demo yet. I prestige not too long ago, and I haven't got up to level 25. But I can kind of speculate on how good this is going to be. I'm also running all left-hand perks, which, um, we'll see how good the Tommy Gun is from that. Well, doing AoE damage is already kind of nice. We've got the stalker creeping around. See, it's secondary fire is just single shot. Dented down numbers, but there are plenty left. That might not be a bad way to shoot it. Because this seems to have enough damage from hitting weak spots to kill these regular guys pretty quick. Joe's Rider's pretty fast. Siren's pretty quick. Okay. Definitely a slower rate of fire than the regular Tommy gun. You can definitely feel that. It has much more of a chugging feel to it. This might be another... This is actually probably going to be a really good early weapon to get with demo. Because right now, your like tier 2 weapons are a little bit situational at demo. Where you got C4, which does do a lot of damage and it's super fun to play around with, but you have very limited amount of it. Um, or you have like the grenade pistol or the grenade launcher. Um... You know, you can keep the grenade pistol, which is still a really strong weapon. It gets rid of crowds really easily. Or you could go with the grenade launcher, which gets rid of crowds really well, but has the arming distance. Once. It's really easy to hurt this yourself with. It's kind of awkward to build around. Bonjour. This one, I could Come see being a better you. choice. All right, throwing upgrades into it, and let's see how strong it gets. See if it gets ridiculous and just, like, rips right through flesh pounds or something. Hopefully we get some quarter pounds or something sent to us. This is going to be an awkward weapon, though. Because if you fully upgrade it, it's going to weigh 10. Which means you have 5 weight. Which means you can't take something like a kaboom stick. You're stuck with either the grenade pistol, if you want to stay on perk, or the C4. Might make C4 a bit more viable then. Although, I'm also kind of seeing an issue with magazine size here. Alright, a Scrake. Let's see how good this does against Scrakes. And I actually killed the Scrape fairly quick. I figured I'd have to use the entire magazine on him to kill him. This is still just suicidal though. So uh, maybe on Hell on Earth I would. But even so, that's not too bad for a demo weapon. Since demo weapons don't, besides the RPG, don't do incredibly well against Scrakes. You could also take the Hemoclobber with this, I guess. That'd actually probably be pretty good on Survivalist. And then go with, like, make things go boom, so you have bigger explosion radius. You do really well against crowds, and you do pretty well against flesh pounds and strikes since you have the hemo. I don't know. I'm going to make quite a few videos about these new weapons and try them out on different classes. So this is just first impressions. Right now, though, my first impression of this gun is that it is quite good for a tier two. Maybe not worth the upgrades. Maybe you just want to keep it, you know, the, the tier two weapon. Have it just for clearing crowds. And pair it with like a uh, seal squeal or the um, the kaboom stick. Have just like kind of a more normalish loadout, I guess, for dealing with everything. Or you can go with C4 and you know maybe blow some other stuff up, and then you'd be at what nine weight? Then you'd be at ten weight. So you still have another five you could play around with then. I don't know. This one, it, it's similar to like the Seal Squill, where it's a little bit awkward to use with other weapons. All right, I'm going to grab the HRG Disruptor and see how this works out. It looks kind of cool. 15 rounds. Huh. Shoots electric balls out. Weird. What about secondary fire? Ooh, it turns pink. Oh, that has a much more recoil. All right. Well, I, I'm a fan of the color change. I'm a fan of the sights of this gun. Let's try it out on the boss, see what happens. Oh, Abomination. Uh, well, let's see how good this gun is against him. Abomination is usually the strongest boss against Demo, at least in solo. Because you have to break all of his armor off before you can start touching his health. At least it, it looks different enough from the Medic Pistol too that you won't get confused with it. Especially if it's changing colors on you. Alright, let's try this thing against him, see what it does. 
both with the. Okay, well, it didn't really seem to do much. What about the flubbers? Okay, I kind of killed them. What about this one? Wow. That's doing a lot more damage. How many bullets is this consuming? Three, okay. That makes more sense. Because that nearly took his helmet off. All right, Tommy Boom. Whoops, not this one. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Medic pistol. Um... I think I did okay damage to his armor. Hey, it's kind of low on his armor. That's not too surprising. We'll have to see what it does when it actually touches his health. This gun, even off perk, surprisingly high damage, and this shot is quite accurate. This might actually be a pretty decent off perk weapon to take. He doesn't have armor on. Let's see how the Tommy Boom, Tommy Boom does. Um, pretty good damage, actually. That's good to see. It also does quite well at clearing up his flubbers. Alright, I got the Corruptor Carbine now, so let's try this sucker out. It holds six rounds, this is a tier four weapon. Sights are already not one of my favorites. They're okay, but... Yeah, maybe he took the green things away from him. Ooh, wait, what the heck was that? Hurry up. Zeds are getting closer. Okay, so that's the secondary fire on it, which is a healing dart? Or healing gas? I guess it's more like a healing insta grenade or something. Interesting. All right. Okay, regular fire is pretty normal. It shoots incredibly fast for a bolt action, but that's not too surprising with this game because like the Mosin shoots incredibly quick too. Sweet shiny junk. Wonder what it's worth. Okay. Seems to do enough damage when hitting stuff like that. I am running Sniper and all the uh, other things for this, though. Let's see, does that actually hurt? Oh! I have infinite medic grenades as sharpshooter. Or as medic. Yeah. <laughs> Love my gun. I think I already love this gun. I think I might actually like this more than the incision now. <laughs> and I already like the incision. Uh, wait, that means with sharpshooter I get healing grenades plus freezing grenades. Whoops, I don't think that actually hit them. That's... I'm not sure how I feel about that. That feels kind of dumb that you're allowed to do that. See, can I hit somebody multiple times with this? Oh no, okay. Once I hit somebody with one of them, the other one goes away. But I mean, still, if I can just do this, even on something like a Flesh Pound, you know? And I don't need to hit it. I just need to hit the Flesh Pound till it's dead. Alright, right now, really liking the new Sharpshooter gun. Fully upgraded, it weighs 8. Which means you could still take another weapon like the M14, the Beluga Beat, Crossbow, Centerfire. Uh, even if you don't want to upgrade it, it weighs 7, which again, you could go with the M14, you could go with the uh, FAL. It has a good amount of shots with it, so that's pretty nice to see. I think you could actually take this with the Incision on Medic then. The Incision is 8. This weighs 7. You could take both then. <laughs> I've got an AOE plus a sniper weapon plus a <laughs> plus a freezing grenade. I mean, does this work if I shoot at the ground? Okay, it doesn't. I actually do have to hit something with it. But I can hit it anywhere, right? Yep, anywhere. Anywhere works. Alright, well the rifle seems to be working okay against her. I think this map is just kind of inconvenient for me. <laughs> and I don't think the Matriarch is really the best for this. Seems to be okay against her though. She still wants to, you know, run up and try to hit me. But I feel like this wouldn't be the, uh, the best thing to get. I feel like the Patriarch or the um, or Hans would probably be better. You can call this occupational noise exposure. There we go. Alright, Matriarch down. 
I'm really liking this Corruptor Carbine though. It is really nice. All right, this time I'm just running Gunslinger. I'm gonna run the Dual Piranha Pistols with the Disruptor. I'm gonna mostly be using the Disruptor since we haven't used that yet, at least a whole lot. Um, but we do actually have a sight with the regular Piranha Pistol if you just have one of them. I don't know how great this sight is. It seems really tiny, especially for a saw blade, but it also seems a little bit too high up, but I think that's just me. We're gonna try shooting it at somebody and see what happens. I'm not sure if I really like the sights or not. I think I actually like the dual sights, which weren't even much sights. They were just kind of the prongs that you used to aim with them. See, having that with Gunslinger is pretty nice though, because I mean, usually I can outrun anything. With this, I don't even necessarily need to. Because I can always just throw them block or I could always just punch somebody and kill them. It seems to work. Decently well at hitting these guys. Whoa, what the heck? Why did he just do that? That's kind of a problem I see with the sights. Look at this. I was right. They are a little bit too high. It's easier to hit headshots if you can't see their head. It does one-shot riders. That was with a five rack em up, though. And it is a nicer weapon to be punching stuff with. So it's a pretty nice running gun. I have a feeling that this weapon may not be a top tier gunslinger weapon, but I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty decent one. All right, got the disruptor out here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Even in the animation, you can switch the colors. All right. <laughs> All right, regular shots, one shot, headshot, guys. Not too surprising there. You can shoot it pretty quick and kill stuff. Again, kind of a nice thing. <laughs> I have a feeling like if you really like using the center fire with Gunslinger, you're probably going to like this. Huh, that was a body shot. That wasn't a headshot. Even just the regular. Oh, well, five rack him up. That makes sense. Take that. Okay. This one might be really strong on Gunslinger because maybe it's just because I'm such a fan of the medic pistol and I use it so much that I'm really used to this but running and gunning with this feels real good oh flesh bound yeah let's see how good this works against the flesh bound All right. Oh, that applies an EMP effect to him as well. Okay. Let's see. Finish the last ones off, so I can open the trade I uh, I feel like you can abuse this kind of easily by just constantly switching back and forth. So if you have good accuracy, this is probably going to be a top tier gunslinger weapon. This is not upgraded, and it's still. Very strong, especially for only four weight. Four weight for a tier four weapon is pretty crazy. Ah, King Fleshbound. Let's see how good the signal disruptor works on him. I have a feeling it's going to kill him incredibly fast. And I just barely upgraded it. I don't know how much the upgrade affects it, but we're gonna find out. Let's see, where are you, King Fleshbound? Did he spawn? I think he spawned over there and he's trying to run all the way around. Or he's underneath. Alright, so. Just the regular gunfire is more than enough to kill a regular quarter pound. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, see how much damage does this do to him? That's a pretty. Those are pretty big chunks of damage that I'm dealing. I honestly don't know if it's just better to spam fire like this though. It's easier to hit uh, rack him up with it because it has less recoil. So. Easy as <laughs> Yeah. My boots, your face. This thing's already pretty crazy. 
And then those things are also pretty good. I mean, that wasn't even me being all that accurate. And this, again, it is on suicidal, so it would take longer to do, but I still don't think that would be all that difficult to beat. Also, one thing I noticed is these seem to bounce, t like, just once, rather than how the Eviscerator can bounce up to five times. Maybe they bounce twice. All right, so I've been recording for about an hour and a half now, and I feel like I can give my first impressions of both the map as well as all of the early weapons. I haven't tried out the new weeklies yet. We're going to have to try them out too and see what we get. But from what I've seen right now, the Piranha Pistol is really strong. Um, I really like it, especially with Gunslinger. I think it's also going to be really strong with Berserker as well. Maybe you'll just take one as Berserker. Maybe you'll just take one as Gunslinger just for the added block and just for the extra range on Berserker. Um, but very strong weapon from what i've seen you also get infinite ammo with it 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 seems really good well the tommy boom here also seems quite good small magazine lower rate of fire than the regular tommy gun nicer sights though and an aoe damage it's going to be crazy once you have destroyer worlds uh but it does come in at an awkward weight so i think it is pretty balanced to where it is although it seems really strong for a tier 2 weapon i, I kind of like that about it maybe not the most practical to upgrade the carbine here i really enjoy i think this might be my favorite weapon I really like that it's a sniper rifle mixed with a medic weapon. And then the disruptor here, I also find incredibly strong. So far, I'm actually not really having any negative things to say about any of the new weapons, which is a little bit weird coming off the like last one that we had, where we had two pretty good weapons and two pretty bad weapons. This time it feels like we're getting four really good weapons that are coming in. I'm kind of excited to see what it is. The new map, I like the looks of, but I don't think it's going to be the most fun map to try to maneuver around. It seems a little bit too claustrophobic, a little bit too enclosed. So beating it on things like Hell on Earth and Suicidal are probably going to be a pain for a lot of people. And I'd probably recommend classes that are good on enclosed maps like Berserker, Medic, Firebug, stuff like that. Um, I still got to do all of the other objectives though, but I think this is where I would leave it off as a first impression. For the most part, I would say it's quite good. I like it. I didn't try out all of the new changes though too, because there is the new armor that you can buy in pods. I like that. And SWAT also got buffed. We haven't played them, but I will be doing probably a video on them. I will probably do a video on each of these weapons again. Um, well, first when the next beta comes out and then also when they officially get released, then I'll make dedicated videos towards each of them so that you guys can have a little bit more um, information and I can have a little bit inf more information because there isn't anything up right now as to what their exact stats are. But they do feel all really good right now. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like to see more of this stuff, be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post these. Special thanks to all the supporters of the channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos like this. So if you would like to be a part of that, there are links down in the description. Also, if you'd like to see my other Killing Floor content, be sure to click over here on this video right now. That'll take you to a full playlist full of them. And uh, I will see all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool. Bye.